Hello, Sabadi. <laughs> Hello, Sabadi. I'm good. You speak English. Hello, Sabadi. No. Oi. <laughs> Look nice. Yeah. Yeah, do you like? Hey, guys, what's up? We are going on a walking tour up around Nongping. But first, I wanted to give a shout out to those people in Vientiane who um, may be stuck in one of the restricted zones because of COVID and finding it hard to get out for essential needs and things like that. Or those people who just don't want to get out and risk it at this time. Shopping D, check it out. Shopping D is a grocery delivery service for all your household shopping needs. You don't need to go anywhere else. Never gonna to need to leave the house again, guys. Got fruit and veg, meats, dairy, canned food, cleaning products, pet foods, got baby products, a whole range of stuff, and you don't need to go outside. They will bring it to your door, and in most cases, um, deliver it straight into your kitchen if you like. If anything is not to your liking, send it back with the driver, no questions asked, you won't be charged. They operate Monday to Saturday with same day delivery, or you can order and schedule when you want it delivered. Also guys, Shopping D isn't only just restricted to the Vientiane area, they uh, also do deliver in Paxi, Phang Vieng, Luang Prabang, Sheng Kuang and Samnua. So um, hit them up, check them out online. The uh, link is in the description below. Shopping D guys, check them out. Just back over near the fish farm. Take you guys for a bit of a walking tour up around uh, the Nung Bing area. Went for a bit of a walk up there a couple of days ago and noticed a house for sale. Give you guys an idea of what the house in this area is worth. Close to a main road and only about eight minutes from the city centre. When I say the city centre, I mean uh, Budasai, yeah, the Victory Gate. Uh, that big boulevard and the uh, tourist district. So, so yeah, you can see the pool there. Out the, that way is down towards Long Batong Road and the markets we usually go to are over there. But where you'd think you'd be on just a, a back village road here, well, well it kind of is. You'd be surprised how bloody busy it gets. dusty it is hey um had a subscriber ask me today from today's video just wondering how I'll, I'll put it up on the screen can't think of his name it was just some initials just wondering how many kilometers we got on our truck now we've had it since late 2014 I think Nene got it, maybe early 2015, so six, seven years old it is. And I did just check before coming out. It's only got 86,000, just over 86,000 Ks on it for seven year old truck. This is a nice place. I, rumor has it, these are the people who are doing that development. Big place. And you can't see in there. There we go, a little bit of a squiz. Yeah, so just over 86,000 case, which isn't much for for a car of that many years, here's, here's the average is around 20,000 for normal driving. Um, it does seem like we travel a lot each year, doesn't it? You know, from the amount of videos we put up, but in the last 12 months, from this time last year till now, we've only been on the road probably about five weeks, would you believe? Even though there's been months worth of videos, our northern trip in late August was um, three weeks, 21 days, 20 days, nights we were on the road for. 
and we got many months of well i got many months of videos out of that we did attempt to go to Saisenbun um, early this year around january and that was uh, when nini fell ill so we abandoned that after about three days three nights nice pool there too and came back uh, once she was better that was when we got the invite down to Puxy to her niece's engagement and we're on the road though that was th that's the series you guys are watching now the southern trip that was um february we were back by the end of february that was only about two weeks not even a full two weeks i don't think so in the last 12 months there's probably been <laughs> yeah at least nine months of videos for five weeks of travel so we don't travel as much as what you think and the car sits in the shed most days through the week yeah the only time we go out well mainly because of bloody covid here's this house i was talking about i'll get back to that in a minute but okay and i think this has back rear um, access also so there's a number guys anybody's interested it's not very old either may look old to uh, Western standards but uh, for being loud I wouldn't even say that's 20 year old that house but Nina ended up ringing that number 250,000 US that is what they're just asking to some random ringing up on the phone some random they don't know so very negotiable 250,000 you ask you say a lot of people will think that is expensive you have to take into account we are eight minutes from the um, dead center of a, of a country's capital city y you know what I mean um, we're gonna get a house on that size of a block eight minutes to the dead center of any capital city in the world but in contrast to that only a couple of k up here um, 18 months or so ago i did a video on a little I'll, I'll link it i'll show you up in the top left hand screen the video a place that was for sale on a good sized block with a house three bedroom for only fifty thousand dollars so there is admittedly that house probably would have been better tearing down you're just paying for the block but uh but on a main thoroughfare eight minutes into town 250 you'll have to take that into account yeah go out of the city half hour out of the city you buy a dozen houses for that price acres of land so this way takes us back down and it will eventually take us to the um, fish farm development but we will walk up through here Sabadi nice little shot they've got their barricade up to stop people walking through but this is very common um, in well all around Laos usually in busy areas they'll just block in main streets and that they'll block off half the road usually in, obviously in back streets they just um, take over the whole village road don't they and there's nothing just for people to walk through and around them 
I was out running yesterday, I didn't have a mask, so I made a detour down around this temple. Went right around them. Today I'll just walk past. I'm from Australia, but Australia, yeah. Then John Guy. Nice haircut, dude. <laughs> but this is a little um, market area up here, just in the back street. There's markets all over the place around here. Not just in that one non-Batong area. So there it is. Hello. Ben Jung Day. I always... I'll show you on the map where I jogged yesterday. It was out to the main road out here and then right up and I came in the rear way <gasps> here. And there was this drunk guy on a motorbike and he'd got all his, done all his shopping, been to the markets and that just up here and he's flooring it on his little scooter, tooting the horn, people are laughing at him. Next minute I've heard it skid and he's down on all fours on the ground. The lady. Hello mate. <laughs> Hello, Sabidi. Some other fellas out jogging. But just to look at this place, if you were just dropped off out of, you know, just woke up in this area, you would think you were bloody miles from anywhere and as I said it's less than 10 minutes to the country's capital the ancient the city center look at it it's you are right out in the villages here that's the fool you get isn't it what a cool little community and it's Still busy up there. Hello. And uh, this was the market the old mate was at yesterday, the drunk fella. Hello, Sabidi. So you'll find markets in just about every back street. This was a little surprise to me. Hello, Sabidi. I'm good. You speak English? Inatol. Just noi nom. Same. Pasalea noi nom. Yeah, you go? Just walk. Just walk. I walk up here. I take video and put it on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. Good. <laughs> Cut the tuk tuks in there. So it was about here the old mates crashed it. Uh, that's about as far as I'll go. I'll start heading back. We're just back into um, the residential area. This is the main part of Nongping, the main um, economic zone, if you'd like to call the main shopping district. But how cool and friendly is it? Yeah, you, know, you can be living. You can be living within a few minutes of the city centre, but have the feel of a real rural area. And you know, like you are out in the villages. 
We'll go for a bit of a walk up here, see what they've got. See what all the fuss is up here, hey? Did I finish telling you the story about the kilometres on the car? I did, didn't I? Yeah. We don't travel as much as people think. I'd love to. <laughs> It'd be great, but I'd never, I'd never finish editing the videos. I'd be rushing them through too much. Okay. Another little market area up here by the looks. The car was just creeping up on me, being polite, not wanting to um, run me over, so I thought I'd get out of his way. <laughs> okay, this is another little busy area, isn't it? Smoking. Hello, Sabadee. Hello. Oi. <laughs> Look nice. Yeah. Chicken. Hey, do you <laughs> Chicken. Our day. Okay, I go for a walk. And when I ca when I come back, I'll get one. I'll, I'll I'll come back. How good's that chicken look? Not like the little skinny mountain chickens we see up in the northern um, provinces, hey. Nice little evening market here. Ben Jang Day. Big bamboo shoots there and some eggs. Sabadee and a shop there. A nice little fish here. And a nice juicy big chicken. Looks like they've uh, just thawed them, but frozen. Some nice little meatballs. Hello, Sabadee. Sabadee. Hello. Sabadee. What you got? Milk. <laughs> the mandarins this year are sweet as sweet as Ah, thank you. That's okay. Cup <laughs> Jada. No, nah, boy. That's okay. Oh, thank you very much. Bye, So, uh, how pun? 50 cents for a big, juicy chicken drumstick. <laughs> you following me? Oh. <laughs> All right. I, I could actually go. A nice cold beer with this now. Nice cold beer. I've been been told. No alcohol for 14 days. They can't be that strict on it, can they? Because of the vaccination.
little barber there. So they do. Speaking of barbers, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> My old mate at three million barber. He sneakily had the gate a little bit open. I guess so people wouldn't think it was open, but on his door he had the open sign. So didn't have to wait, he was in there waiting for me. I feel like a new man. Well, I don't feel like a new man. <laughs> I feel like I am a new man. No bill out. <laughs> it's just such a nice area to walk to of an afternoon. Thank you, mate. Let me get out of your road. <laughs> you can go now. Go. Have a go at this. They're not attached to it now. That's what they're for. Going through the rice paddies, muddy, muddy terrain, I guess, eh? Hey? She looks like she's been sitting there for a little while. Good set of rims there. Some more big equipment over here. Big old tractor. Next to a range rover, an old dusty one. Check that out. Okay, I just restarted back down near the temple. But we did swing a right and go up through um the Nongping commercial centre. <laughs> Like a dog on a mission, aren't you, mate? They're a nice little dog. But it is not far along here. That house for 250,000 US backs onto it. I think this is it here. Going by the style of it. Okay. Maybe it doesn't have rear gate access. Unless this is part of it here. Be good, wouldn't it? If it did have rear gate access, automatic gate there. There we go, and we close it. Uh, oh yeah, I think it does join into that yard. I don't know. May have adjoining access. A few homes in there. Have a go at this big classic old fence here. They do like their big fences here, don't they? That beautiful home, this old um, traditional Lao home. I'll put the periscope up so we can see. Too bloody short, give you a sticky bee go there. See that? I thought they were bees the other day. But they're nearly bees. They're just bloody flies on the, the fruit that's dropped. Speaking of fruit, they're actually big old gnarly mango trees. Have a go at them. And it's just the rotten fruit on the ground. All the flies are around. That's what you're hearing. That one two, three mangoes. Into here we go. Hello mate. Yeah, you're a smiley little fellow, aren't you? You're friendly. Nice front lawn. And down the end of this lane, we went down there thinking we could get through the other day. It's just like a cul-de-sac, a dead end with row houses either side.
soon you will see where we are. Another nice residence there. Look at this. Out in the middle of back street. You got a cool little shop here. You just don't see shops in places like this back home, do you? No, you don't. Probably got something to do with the zoning laws back home. Another nice house there. Hey, Sabati. Hello, Sabati. <laughs> Three days straight, I've, I've seen this fella. Debate. <laughs> You've been in the exact same spot, exact same time each afternoon. Now I don't bloody blame him. Beautiful this time of day here. We will go for a walk down here. This is probably going to be a long video, guys. Won't chop much out of it. Give you a good feel of what this area is like. And that is a dead end down there. Well, we won't go there, but... This is the back way you used to come before the development happened. Up to the temple and then back down to the pool, but now... You've got the lots of access in straight, in straight through in there. And man's little camp there. Watering his lemongrass and that out the front. You'll find that a lot in um, Lao gardens and that. If you can't eat it, they don't plant it. And there's not many plants they don't eat anyway, so. As you've seen Nini cooking just a couple of weeks ago, bamboo shoots in uh, frangy penny leaves. That just takes you straight down to the... Oh, just dropped me chicken wing. Let's put this on that. I thought it melted a hole in the bottom of his bloody shitty bag, but I was only hanging on to one handle. There doesn't seem to be, just from my observation, different classes of neighbourhoods here like you would see in the West. You know, more upmarket areas of town where nice homes are just... Um, sprinkled in with more older homes more of your low income sort of people they are just mixed up they it doesn't matter to them where they actually live and this is what i wanted to show you the lawn in this place it is just completely tile and another fence you wouldn't be getting over in a hurry Yeah, of course there are areas where it's just solely, you know, um, just more of your, your farmers and villages and things like that. But in around the city and that, there doesn't seem to be different um, classes of suburbs like you would find in most areas around the Western world. Um, land is land here. They just don't seem to discriminate against... Um, one another, you know, what one does for a living. I can't recall one Lao person asking me what I did for a job back home. Why was I travelling back home? What did I do? It's of no interest to them for them to get to know me or like me. It doesn't, doesn't matter. But it's one of the first questions uh, we ask in a Western society. I said, so what do you do for a living? Yeah, you know, and when that question... <laughs> When you do ask that question, it slips out. You, you do feel, feel kind of 
kind of li tripping over again kind of little for asking it knowing that it's no big thing to them you know you have um shoes falling apart my sole just fell off and forgot what i was saying nearly home guys that's us dead ahead got some rice out the front here tall skinny place there i missed too busy just flapping me gums having a chin wag another thing um so baby you'll see many homes here in different stages of um being built and they may sit like that for a while not many people over here get home loans if they're building a home they've usually got the money to build it or get it up, get it up to a certain um, stage so a lot of the homes you see here most of the people own them they are not in debt so you will see people like me neighbor down here I'm just gonna show you he bought this block of land and he's got a little um a little hut on it it's not just there for when he turns up and working there he's been there every night since they started putting this wall up he is living there and he will stay there until his house is built you know he's been at the fence for over a month or so but as they get money they build it's not a matter of um just getting it getting in knocking your house up in three months and moving in could take years it's like these big three-story homes down here they've already been at them for two years yeah and they'll probably be at them for another year yet as the money comes in they continue when it's finished be when it's finished be um, being built there's no debt on it they own it brother-in-law's place Look at this yard, what a mess, what a mess. Alright guys, thanks for coming along, see you later in the next one.